Hello, it's Gina. Welcome back to my channel. I appreciate all of you who have just recently subscribed. Um, my channel grows a little bit every day and I really, really appreciate it. And I'm so thankful that you stopped by and are watching my videos. And I hope to have something interesting for you today. Now, this is not a new idea. I do not claim it to be my own at all. There are several videos online that you can find on this, but that look like so much fun, I wanted to try it for myself. <laughs> and what it is, is just creating ephemera or small art or even artist trading cards because this is um, pretty much the right size, which is two and a half by three and a half. Um, but it's using a deck of cards and it's fun. The deck of cards are a great base. So if you have a deck that are maybe missing some cards and you know you can't really use it to play any games but you just haven't gotten rid of it yet, hold on to it. <laughs> go get them. Go grab some scraps and come back and, um, and play around and let's create something. Now this is a deck I got and I got it from the dollar store and to my surprise when I opened it up it was already in the shape where it had the corners cut off. And I, I thought that was really cute. So um, I, that was a pleasant surprise. So anyway, this is what I'm going to be using as my base. I've got all kinds of scraps around me. And I even have some stencils, I have some stamps. I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do. I just know I wanna play. <laughs> so I'm going to grab a couple. And we'll see if we can get three done today. Let's get started. So the first thing I did, well with this one, I just used one piece of paper on the bottom. It's the, the shiny stuff. That was all one piece. So if you have one piece of paper, you can do that. Um, I want to probably use this as ephemera for a journal that I'm, I'm gonna be working on in the next video or two coming up. So. My initial thinking is I want to keep it relatively flat. I don't want to get um, get it too thick, but you know, we'll, we'll just see how it goes. <laughs> okay. Um, I think, you know what, maybe I'll just start with, how about that? Let's see. Oh, I always gotta make sure there's no like bad words. Um, it's a dictionary, not that there are bad, bad words, but you know. Well, it may be awkward later. <laughs> so let's let's see. All right, now we'll just go with this. So I think I'm going to use this whole page, and I'm just going to start out with my glue stick. And I'm going to flip it over. Maybe I'll just go ahead and put it down where I already have some glue and make use of it. I might as well. Okay, there we go. Now, this is that old paper and it just comes off really easily. Um, all I have to do really is crease it and pull on it. Okay, and I can come back and clean it up a little bit better later. But that's one, let's see. I wanna do all, I wanna cover them all first. This is a little thinner. Let's just rip. There we go. Yep. I'm going to try not to think too hard on it. <laughs> I'm just going to try not to think too hard. This is so easy to get bogged down with not knowing, you know, not being able to make a decision. And I know that's something that I struggle with and I'm constantly trying to work on. So um, sometimes you just grab and go, you know, just grab and go. So that's what I'm going to try to do. There we go. Just grab and go. If I don't like it, I'll cover it up with a different piece of paper. Hmm. I should I might ought to put something over my desk. All right. So there's that one. Let's see. Let's see. What else? Oh, 
Ooh, that's nice. Doesn't quite fit up here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, here's a bigger one. a little bit more like this. I think that will do. All right. Oops. There we go. Oops. There we go. Very good. I like that. I am going to cut off my edges. All right. Okay. All right, so we have these two. Where's my other one? Let's see if we can do one more. Maybe I'll just do a whole sheet of this. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Now, of course, you could do it you know, glue it down the other way if you like. Maybe you like the way this looks and want to have that on the back. I don't know. Let's see. But <laughs> I'm laughing because I have got glue everywhere. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Okay, good. I was afraid I didn't get it. Covered. Try to wipe some of this glue off so it won't get on my scissors. Okay. Yeah. Now the cards have this coating on it, so I mean I got it. I kept it from being sticky, but it's still kind of smudgy. But I can go back later and wipe it down. So that'll be okay. Let's see. Use my big scissors. my shape. But again, you certainly don't have to. You can leave a bunch of overhang or keep the edges jagged. Whatever you want to do. All right. So here's what we have so far. Now, I can layer with more paper, which is probably what I'm going to do. Let's see. I also have paper doily, so, which I might use on this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue about where I want it on my card and then just place it on the doily. Doilies are kind of hard to, to put glue on because of all the holes. So I want it to come about maybe like that. Let's see how that does. So far, so good. I like that a lot. Okay, what can I do on the other ones? I've got this one. Hmm. And now that's something that is often you do with trading cards. You'll have a similar theme. Um, you know, like, so maybe they all have some type of doily-looking thing draping from on a corner. Doesn't have to be the same corner, um, but it's a similar theme that goes throughout. So I might work on that premise. Maybe I'll try to do something like that. I think I actually have a white doily somewhere. Hold on just a second. Aha. I did have a white doily. <laughs> That's pretty bright white, isn't it? I may add a little bit of color uh, later. But for now, I'm just going to go with it. I think I'll add it down here. Alright. 
Oops. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, all right, there we go. I had two. I didn't realize it. I might have gone too far over where my glue was, so I'm going to have to add a little bit more. For that, I'm going to use my Art Glitter Glue so I can be a little bit more precise. All right. There. You know, I kind of like it better when it had two sheets, it was super bright white, but since it's so thin, um, it's not that bright white because the color underneath kind of comes through. I kind of like that better. So that worked out. Let's see. So there's that one. Oops, there we go. Now, what should I do for you? I'm going to go this way. All right. Let's just go for it. All right. Oops. Let's see. There. All right. And that's, that's our second layer. Let's see what else we can do. All right, I want to do some stenciling. And I've got this one that kind of reminds me of a doily. There's lots of little holes. And instead of using um, any kind of paste and using the stencil that way, I just want to use some ink. So I'm going to use, I believe, yeah, I use the walnut stain. And let's see, I'll try to use this. And I'll just kind of go through. <laughs> All right. And use that. In different places. Really, it comes through, and all it looks like is like little dots, but that's okay. Maybe a little more in this corner, like that. Okay, let's do this one. Just lay it down and just kind of go around. I don't want to cover the whole thing, but just in spots, just in a few places. Go. Doesn't show up quite as well on that one. Let's see. Okay. But it's there. You know, I think my these little bitty inks, um, ink pads are really getting used um, and a little bit dry. I should probably use my bigger ink pad because I don't use that as often. Let's see. And uh, might have to start doing that. These are just so convenient to keep on my desk. There we go. All right. There we are. So we have some stenciling. I'm going to look through my papers and see if there's another layer I want to add. I want to look for a focal point. All right. I think I'm going to go back to this paper pad. It's called Nature Garden, but the images are just really pretty. And there is a page, like look at that, isn't that pretty? Maybe I'll pull that out. Might use that, because that's got a couple of really pretty images on it. Let's see. Let's see if I can get what I need from just this one page. I love this bird. I'm thinking that would look really nice. 
I like this girl too, so I'm trying to try not to cut into her. Her head off. No. <laughs> mm. I like the butterflies as well. Let's see. Let's see. I think I like that. I'm going to go with that before I think of anything else. <laughs> Let's go for it. These two images. Hmm. You know what? I think I like it right here better. I do. And yeah. I think I like her right there. Such a pretty image. Okay. And let's see if I can make the bird work over here. So bad. All right. Okay. Okay. I've cleaned the edges up a little bit. You know, I I think I over ripped this one because I. I think it looks better if it would kind of top off like that. So I found the piece. I think this is where it went. And I'm going to just try to glue this little piece right here. I don't know. For some reason, it just, to me, looks like it just needs to be there. <laughs> so, so, hey, you just kind of go with how you feel. I mean, that's how art is, right? It'd be fine without it, but I think it would be better with it there. So, I'm going to try to add it. So, why not? And there we go. And it doesn't even bother me that, you know, it has a little rip there. It just adds to it. There we go. I like it. Okay, at this point I've got a couple of layers. I have a focal point on each and I think I just want to go around and um, kind of edge, ink my edges. All right, edges are all inked. And I think I'm just about done, but there's another uh, step I want to do, and I want to stamp. I have this stamp set, and it's got little words on it, and I think I want to use this. This is um, from Prima, Mar Prima Marketing. I'll put that up there. It's for planners, planner stamps. I don't really do a planner, but I did like the images and some of the words. And I think I'm going to stamp um, in the corner where I have my doily. So, this one is Imagine. finish it off with some liquid pearls and this color is bisque.
and we have our finished piece. Now these are still wet, so I have to be super careful not to mess up my, my little uh, circles here. But there we go. So this one says imagine. Okay. And... <laughs> Tried to leave spots down at the bottom that I could pick it up with. <laughs> this one says don't forget to play. There we go. And careful. Okay, this one says take time to create. There we go. All right. Before I wrap up, as you can see, um, the one I had done previously, now I did ink around all of the edges before I um, glued it on. So that does give it a different look. I didn't do that with these. Um, hold on. I'm still wet. Um, but I did, as you saw, I did um, take my dauber and just kind of run, run over the edges. It gives it a little bit of the effect, but it's not as, you know, it's not as defined as it would be if you actually inked the edges of everything. So just keep that in mind before you glue it down, what kind of look you're going for. Um, you may want to take time to ink around the edges. I did not, you know, for this um, video, but it would have, you know, really made them pop and stand out if I had done that. So just something to keep in mind. This is a really simple way to create some really pretty ephemera. Now you could also make them uh, as tags. You know, you could put a hole in the top and make it a tag. You can bind them together and make a little flip book. The possibilities are endless. <laughs> They're so fun and easy to make. I encourage you to give it a try and I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did give me the thumbs up and let me know which one is your favorite. My mock one or one of the ones that we made today. Thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate it for all those who hung in there with me till the end. That means so much. If you tend to enjoy my videos and watch them on a frequent basis, then hit that subscribe button. I would really, really appreciate it. All right, that's going to be it for this one, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!